Raceaholic Racewear Studios, and we got Hollywood Wes Irwin with his daily update from the Chili Bowl. Man, Wes, you have been keeping me on my toes today, buddy. Uh, yeah, man, it's been fun, man. I'm having a good time, and this is only the first night of racing, so I got a lot more for you to, throughout the week. You know, uh, I got to got, got to really run around here and get to talk to some people tonight. I was in a practice, you know. I, I kind of milled around, but you didn't really know who was driving what, and who was with who, and you just seen people walk around, but now I'm starting to put faces with cars, and it's been fun, man. I'm having a great time right now. So what? what's some of the most surprising things today that you've seen going on? Well, how many people are, are lined up to get in this place and, and milling around? And, I mean, it's a big difference since, since yesterday. You know, just practice. I think it was mainly just people here with cars, but um, it, it's, it's packed. You know, all the vendors are open now, and all the, all the concession stands. And there's just a lot of busy things going on, man. I mean, everybody's getting busy. I'll tell you what, man. Today is a big, big day. Racing fires up tonight. We got our first round of qualifiers. I think we got, what, Wes, 72 cars or somewhere around 70 cars going through the first round of qualifiers tonight. Right, but, right. I guess they split them up and you know, they'll quarter them off and, uh, you know, for the next four nights until Saturday. And uh, I believe it's 60 to 70, somewhere in that range, yeah. Well, I tell you what, but there's something huge going on tonight, man. This is this is an annual deal, but tonight we got the race of champions. I can't say that sponsor name to save my life, Wes, on that on that uh, race tonight, but uh, we'll call it the race of champions. Um, yeah, right. Man, there's some big names, some some really good drivers from from all disciplines, from late models to to NASCAR to you know uh, to, to just short track veterans, man. But uh, I I tell you what. That that is a big time race, and I've kind of got a favorite, and I and I've got a uh, a dark horse pick in that. Have you had a chance to see that list? I did, it, and you're right. It's all big names. It's uh, past champions uh, of this race, um, which is kind of cool, you know, letting a lot of those guys back in it. Um, there, man, there you got Damien Gard Gardner, you got um, Tony Stewart, Kyle Larson's in this race, the Swindells. I mean, it, the list goes on. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. I'll I'm tell looking you what, forward to that one. I'll tell you what, I cannot wait to hear what you've got to say after that race. I'm only going to be able to hear it on audio on Racing Boys tonight, but I cannot wait to, to hear what you've got to say about what went in on person. But here it is. I'm going on the record. I've, I've, I've heard enough, I've seen enough, and talked to enough people uh, to, to make a, I, what I hope is an informed decision, man, but I don't know how, how smart I am with that kind of stuff. <laughs> but uh, I'm going with I'm going with young money, Kyle Larson, for the upset this year. I, th not, it, I don't even think it's an upset. But, I mean, if you look at what the Swindells have done out there the last few years, you know, it could be considered an upset. But I'm taking Kyle Larson to not only win the race champions tonight, but I think that's going to be your 2013 Chili Bowl champion. What do you think about that pick? Well, I tell you what, you probably have a you, you have an upper hand on that one because I tell you what, I watched him in practice, all his rounds, smooth, nothing wrong with what he's doing. I mean, he got out there the first on the first practice session. I mean, he looked like uh, he was ready to win it right there. But uh, yeah, he's fast, he's smooth, he looks confident. I actually just talked to him about ten minutes ago with the, uh, my friend Chris Keith, who is a photographer out here, and we were chatting with him a little bit. He seems he seems confident. He seems a little seems a little cocky too. I kind of like that. But you know, I think I think you know every you know you know as well as I do a racer, you got to have that little bit of cockiness to you. You know, there's a line that you can cross, but I don't think Kyle's crossed that line, in, in my opinion. Um, you know, in this race of champions tonight, I got a dark horse pick too. I've got a dark horse pick for the Chili Bowl, but uh, in let's talk about this race of champions. Obviously, I'm going with Kyle Larson to win this thing tonight, but uh, mm -hmm. I, I really like Tim McCready tonight as, as the dark horse pick for this race of champions. What do you think about that one? Well, I, I like that call too. I hope, I hope because I know in practice, I think he was having some issues with the car. So hopefully they got that all figured out for tonight, which I'm sure they do. Uh, you know, so I couldn't tell you off of practice. He was having a little bit of issues each time he came out, but you're right. And I, I, that's not a bad choice to go with. I don't think, um, I mean, I have a favorite and I have a dark horse also. It's probably not. Oh, not let's, let's hear what George. you got. Let's hear what you got. <laughs> let's hear what you got, Hollywood. Well, I'll tell you what, it, it, is a, it is a hard choice between winning the actual race between Kyle Larson and Smoke, but I'll tell you what, both of them look smooth, but I think, uh, I think, I think Tony Stewart might be your winner for that tonight, um, just because of his experience of being here, you know, a little more often, and I'm sure he's got the cars dialed in all the time. I think and my dark horse, 
I think he's a little bit tired of getting whooped by the Swindells out there at the Chili Bowl too. So I think he's got a little bit to prove. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and both of them, and both of them look real good too. But I, I will tell you this: I mean, Kevin changed his car. It looks more like his dad's car now. So you know, I'm one of those guys that's like, why fix something that isn't broke? So you know, going to a different style car is that going to be the upper hand? I don't know. You know, so they both. They both struggled in practice also, I'd like to say, early in the part of it. But, I mean, later in the evening they got better, but they were struggling a little bit too. Oh, that's... The two guys that did struggle with Smoke and Kyle Larson, I mean, those guys were on the money. Them Swindell boys will be there at the, at, for when, when the money counts. Swindell boys will be there. You can count on that. Who's your dark horse yeah. pick for this championship race tonight, buddy? Well, you know who I'd like to see take this one? The Demon. I, I think he... Uh, that, guy, that guy runs hard. I know he's not running any of his own stuff. I, I, he's running for somebody, but... I like to see him when he, I like, I like watching him on the track. This is what he's born and bred in. You know, he, he loves doing this stuff. So that would be my dark horse tonight. Oh, I'll tell you what, my buddy, uh, Kevin Briscoe and Chase Briscoe back home in Indiana, they're going to love that pick Damien, the demon gardener, <laughs> man. They're going to love hearing you say that. Uh, I'll tell you, have you had much of much of a chance? I know it's a huge driver's list and I, and I've got a personal, uh, dark horse pick that I'd like to pick for the, for the overall, uh, race win this year for the 2013 Chili Bowl champion, and that's Christopher Bell. Um, you know, become pretty good friends with him, and I would really like him to see see him do well with his chance he's got in that Keith Coons car. So, uh, um, do you have anything? Have you had a chance to sit down and think about any dark horse picks for the Chili Bowl title this year? Wow. Yeah. I mean, there's. I mean, I, I like to see all these. Um, I like to call them underdogs. I'd like to see at least 20 of them have a shot at it. So. My list is pretty long. Uh, I got some personal friends out here running, so I don't want to be, uh, you know, I'll just keep my mouth shut on that one. There you <laughs> go. There you go. There you go. I, I, you know, I don't think you can go wrong with anybody that's out there walking away with this championship, with this win, man. I, there's the list is just it's unbelievable about the the amount of talent that's out there. But you know what? In 2014, um, I believe there's going to be uh, another talented guy out there running one of these cars. So. Uh, uh, we'll look forward to that. What do you, what do you think about that, Wes? Uh, that would, wouldn't that be awesome, man? I'll tell you what. And I've already been working on that project. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get busy on that, won't we? All right, buddy. Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, what you got? What are you looking forward to? Obviously, we, we've got the race champions tonight. We've got the first round of qualifiers tonight. Um, beer fridge, man. How's the beer fridge looking? Wow. I, you know what? I brought some along out here and I already had a few of them in between uh coming inside and going outside since i'm not driving i can do that you know what i mean but uh <laughs> yeah yeah that thing that thing's pretty empty but we restocked last night so we're all good we're all good man we'll be we'll be fine uh we got a few more days to go that's for sure so i don't know if we'll slow down or get worse but we're having a good time and that's what counts you know that's, that's, right that's the number one thing in racing anyway at the end of the week we'll ask you what was more gas to get out there or the beer budget while you was there so keep tabs on that let <laughs> us know about that but anyway buddy uh, you have fun tonight, man. Enjoy those races, and uh, uh, I, I don't I don't know what else to say, man. It sounds like you're having the time of your life. I can't thank you and Chris, man. Chris Keith and the photos that he sent in to OTC this morning. Uh, that is just it's awesome. I I can't tell you what you know how appreciative I am for everything you're doing for on the cushion this week, Wes. Hey, it's our pleasure, buddy. It's our pleasure. I, I tell you what, Chris Keith has. Uh, you know, in his world, he's a photographer, and these racing photographers are just like race car drivers, man. They mean business in their work, you know, and you don't uh, you don't mess with that, you know. And they take pride in everything they do, and they're they're just as dedicated as a race team, to be honest with you. Uh, the guy put, I mean, he must have took 900 pictures yesterday, I believe it was. And, uh, you know, he worked on them all night long as soon as we get back to the room. I mean, he had time for some beers, yeah, but he had to work on his pictures and get them sent out to all his people. And, uh yeah, that's a lot of work. I mean, any anybody in racing, anybody, it don't matter what they're doing, are hard workers, man. And they love the sport 150%, and that's what this is all about out here, man. I never met so many people in one place. I'm running into some friends, you know, that I, I, I met on Facebook and things of that nature. And, you know, I wouldn't know them if you ever looked at them, you know, walking down the street. But out here, everybody finds out who everybody is, and it's really cool. I'm having a great time. And what I'll do tonight is I'll start taking some notes. And I'll have some more goodies for you tomorrow. It'll be a good time. That's cool, man. Your surprises today, man, with with Justin Allgaier and uh, Chase Stocking, man, those was excellent surprises. I can't wait to see what kind of surprises you got for us tomorrow and goodies that you can pull out of that goodie bag. 
But uh, I guess we've reached that time, man. It's time for you uh, to leave us with your uh, words of wisdom for the day. <laughs> go fast, turn left, buddy. All right, go fast, turn left. Can we have a little bit of right-hand turn in there, too? Well, yeah, I guess you got some road <laughs> people are probably listening. No, yeah. no, well, God. you know, on the dirt, man, we got to go fast, turn left, just, you know, turn right to turn left, so... But uh, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you got one of those rain flaps on top of the car. Yeah, man, I hear you. <laughs> All right, buddy. I hear you. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks a lot for calling in tonight. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you hopefully uh, two or three times tomorrow, man. No problem. I hope everybody's having fun listening to what I'm reporting on, and uh, it's been fun doing it so far. And we'll we'll keep it going, okay, bud? All right, we'll we'll get it. Oh, we need to give a big shout out to Trent Nifflis, Raceaholic Racewear, and uh, oh yeah, man, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we got to give a big shout out to Jason at JD Racewear, and and uh, what's what's uh Bird's Eyewear is your uh, glasses, Birdsy. man? Bird's Eyewear, yeah, Bird's Eyewear out of Florida. Uh, some good people I started a new relationship with, so. We got some things going on with them. Uh, it's a it's a it's a very young relationship, but you know there's some good things that'll happen there also. That's all right, man. You was looking pretty stylish in that photo from the hotel this morning. So uh, thank uh, you. Those are my those are my big guns, you know. And I have a lot of little people at home and uh, the Potter House of Daytona, Sex Automotive, um, great people to help me on my car. PPC Lubricants, love all those guys. The people I've been with me for a long time, you know. Well, that'll work, man. All right, Wes, you uh, enjoy that. Enjoy the racing out there tonight, and we'll get back with you tomorrow, buddy. Hey, man, I can't wait. I can't wait till they fire them up. All right, we'll talk to you later, brother. Okay, man, peace.